Hey Mike, I I sent you a link, but um, Google did an update that's not syncing with Webinar Jam. And there, I've gone through the tutorial video on what their remedy is, but the remedy is not working. I'm thinking so people aren't like waiting. Should I just send an email to everybody that registered and just say, "Hey, I apologize for having tech difficulties. We're going to send you a recorded version of this by tomorrow morning." Okay. Okay. Man, this is a uh, this is a curveball. <laughs> Lovely. It's always something, right? Yeah. I've never I've never seen. That. I mean, Webinar Jam is buggy, but I always get through the bugs. Just this one, they're it. They're saying that Google did an update and they have not figured out a solution for the update yet. But they gave a back door, but the back door has a deadbolt on it. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll get an email out to everybody um, right now so that they don't they don't have to wait. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll do that and I'll, right. call, and I'll call you right back after I figure out how okay. to email everybody. Cool. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, Nate. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Your call has been forwarded to an audit. Hey, mate. Hey Mike, how's it going? There you are. <laughs> I, you and I are here. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. no idea how to invite the people, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we made it. Yeah. So yeah, we're down here in the hotel. I'm going to the. Uh, oh, that's right. Tomorrow, tomorrow conference tomorrow. So. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Are you at the Broadmoor? Uh, -uh. No, we always stay at a hotel down here in Colorado Springs. Okay. So, not at the, what is it, nowhere at the Cheyenne Mountain. Yeah, uh, okay. Whatever the heck it is. But, yeah, we're about, actually about 10 miles from there. Is that Deb I hear? Hi, Deb. Hey, hi, come say hello. She's over there hey. messing with her iPad. Hi, Deb. How are I'm you? Glad, I'm good. I'm glad that you guys went to this one. This This is a good event. You'll meet some good people, and if you want to get more people on, uh, or you want to get in front of more people, it's a good event to get exposure. Definitely. Cool. Looking yeah. forward to it. Michael's really knowledgeable, but um, you know, just <laughs> from from a wise perspective, like as an example, he at our church, you know, we're just a small little new church, and he always uh, preaches the last Sunday of the month. Uh huh. And like when he's up and doing his dairy meetings, he's pretty, you know, he's confident and he does pretty good, and he's trying his new. That little um, what you do is you give sixty percent of your story, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, all that breakdown. So, but what you know, he gets so much more emotional when he's at church, you know, and so I'm I'm hoping <laughs> he does because you know you're talking about God and you know you're relating this message and you're talking about what's on your heart, you know, and he's really emotional. But it but it's really awesome. That's, you know? that's so what I'm, people yeah. need. People need to see that. And they need to feel that. That's, yeah. that's good. He puts his heart into it. Uh huh. Well, but he does. He always he puts his heart in a lot of what he does. So, um, anyway, and, and I think this is this is going to be a great experience, a great thing. I think it's going to yeah. give a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, experience, because I guess you get up there and you have to kind of speak in front of others, right? 
Right you have to tell your story or something. Yes, that, huh? tell your story. One second, sorry. A mm -hmm. Abby, Abby, um, the web, the webinar jams log jammed on us. The technology did an update and it's not syncing with Google Hangouts right now. Yes, could, no. could you send an email out to the participants just apologizing and we'll get them a replay link by tomorrow? Okay, I was trying to do it myself off of the webinar jam, but I can't find any of their emails in there, so they must be in Infusionsoft. No, no, Google Hangouts did an update and um, the webinar jam has a backdoor method, but the backdoor method doesn't work. I'm guessing it's because we have an admin setting somewhere inside of Home Invest domain that doesn't allow it to sync with webinar jam. Like you could click on it and you'll see they put a little minute video on there that I've watched a half dozen times now, but it, <laughs> it doesn't sync with um, our, our domain for some reason. But I just, but if you, if you could email everybody just so they're not like on there waiting, just apologize, let them know what happened, and then let them know that we'll get them a, a replay tomorrow. And then I'll, I'll, I'll personally call everybody that signed up too. Okay, thanks, Abby. Okay, bye. -bye. Sorry about that, Mike. Okay, how many people did we have, or do you know? I don't know. I, I was trying to, to check, but I, I can't get into that little part. We're, we're switching from Infusionsoft. This is unrelated, but um, we're switching from Infusionsoft to a software called Pardot. Um, it's Salesforce. You probably heard of Salesforce. It's a, cut, a CRM, a big fancy CRM. Cool. Be more reliable, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's what all like the Fortune 500 companies are using, and I have been resistant to using it for years, but I've finally said okay about a month ago, and now we're running both side by side because we don't want to lose any leads and we want to make sure everything transfers over the right way, Makes but I'm... I'm still learning how to use the new one. It's like it's like going from an automatic car to a manual. There's just different components. It does the same thing, but you got to learn how to drive again. Well, not 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 Mike because you were like born uh, before you could walk. You could ride a motorcycle, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We had to shift too. Oh, you had to shift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Using all four appendages, throttle, brake, clutch, shifter, brake on your feet. So. <laughs> I still can't believe that about Matt. That's so funny. What's that? CBR power. I saw that, you know, his, yeah. his deal for so long, and all of a sudden it just clicked. Yep. First time one done, those, those things were slow, but oh well, what the heck. <laughs> Uh, are you still talking to him occasionally? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna to talk to him tomorrow. I talk to him about once a week. He's he's just he's doing masterminds like crazy. Him and Dean have like really try. They're trying to corner the market on it, but they're they've got one mastermind per month now. Oh, and that thing that they were asking us to sign up for. And yeah, it's on. anywhere from ten grand to twenty grand, depending on which mastermind you join. But you get to meet up in Davenport four times per year and um, learn from Matt and Dean. But they're, that's going well for them. So that shows that the education demand is there. It is. I think it always will be. You know, it will always be there. Mm -hmm. I've been selling that for sure. Yeah, I haven't seen him much of his stuff. He's not doing much at all on the old DG stuff, you know. No, they're getting enough leads that's off awesome. the – Go ahead. Sorry. No, no. They're just doing the online course launches. Like they just did that reps one a few months ago mm -hmm. and that is spurring enough leads for them to sell into the mastermind. Cool. Good for them. Mm -hmm. And it's good training, you know? Good yeah. Training. One, one thing that you and I should do for your Denver leads is we should figure out a lower tier um, product price that people can buy because we're missing like we're it's like going to a restaurant and having someone sell you a, a car um we're missing the appetizer we're missing kind of a something that they can sink their teeth into 
that's a lower ticket price and we're probably losing a lot of potentials because we don't offer that smaller tier price points. You thought about like, crowdfunding? I, you know, we've talked about it in this office, but we haven't taken any action on it because of just regulation and whatnot. We don't, we don't know the laws well enough to like say, let's do it. But that, that might be an idea. That might be a lower tier price. A way to bring people in on like your rehab. So to get in on a single property, you know, you could do the crowdfunding for the rehab part of it or whatever you wanted to do. And yeah. that's you get that lower tier person that could just come in with five grand or 10 grand and wants to be involved in a, in a joint project. And uh, we're involved in some crowdfunding out here. So it, is that publicly on like a website where you, literally people can yeah. buy in online? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. No kidding. What, is there any special regulations that they had to there go are, through? There are, of course you have to, if you go over X amount, you have to be accredited, of course, but as non accredited, First time in, you can put five grand in. Five grand, okay. Yeah, which is a good number for that entry level appetizer thing you're talking about. You know. Oh five, yeah, that's great. Uh, and um, I forget how it changes because I'm not familiar, but the laws on crowdfunding did change in 2016. So that's how they come. These guys started this off, and uh, now we we're involved in like four projects. All crowdfunded. Yeah. Yeah, fun. Well, a couple of my wholesale, the developer, the property, and then we invested in on the crowdfunding and on the rehab remodel. So, and, uh, you know, they're good friends of mine. So we're getting a decent return. But you, you know, you can, you can promise a decent return to your investors with the way it works, which I'm not really familiar, like I said. But if you need all that information, I can get it to you for sure. Yeah, that'd be great. One. To think about you know, that's a whole other aspect of your business is where you could pool small investors into one deal. Mm -hmm. so, you know, you'd you'd probably do the the purchase, and they would cover the rehab through the crowdfunding or something, you know, or the whole deal if you wanted to break it up. I know you could do that too. So yeah, something to think about yeah. as far as the appetizer thing. I know a lot of the guys that are coming to my club that don't have any money. They can't do a flip and all that stuff. They're it. They've been throwing five or ten grand at my crowdfunding deal. And then, uh, if that's if exactly what you're talking about, I'm seeing that happen in our club. How do we we'll do? Just putting in five grand. How do you get paid then, or how do I pay you if I do if we do crowdfunding with smaller people? We get paid ten percent of their uh, net. Oh, on the on the return on the projects. Yeah. Okay. And then then we're actually investing ourselves straight in, like an, an investor. We we did one. Our first one we put in five, and we made a grand in three weeks. But the next one we put in ten, and we're going to make twenty in six months. Wow! Double. And that's just. He's just doing us a major favor for everything we do for him. But so we're going to roll that 20 over in and turn it into 40 and so forth until, and you can only put in a hundred per person, even if you're accredited in the crowdfunding model. So when we get to that point, we're going to start doing two, two projects. We were thinking about doing some hard money lending, blah, blah. You know, we get a look at it. No way. I'd rather do this. And, it would be these guys are like, you know, working with you. I know and trust you 100%. And mm -hmm. Not at all. So I've known these guys. I've sold them many, many wholesale deals before they started doing this crowdfunding. And they're doing, you know, their own fix and flips. They're funding their fix and flips through crowdfunding. Part of it. It's working for them. They're making money both ways. So. I love it. Is it only open to Denver residents then? What the crowdfunding? Oh, yeah, no. for their platform. Yeah, the website. You don't. Do you have one of those cards, dear? What's that? Uh, Todd's crowdfunding card. Uh, yes, I do. I'll give you the website if you want to check it out. Yeah, I'd love to. All right.
and they have done a lot, a lot of study on on this stuff. Talked to all sorts of lawyers, been to all sorts of conventions, blah blah blah, to get this thing all dialed in where it's legal and secure. It's a uh, corecrowdfunding.com. Core, C O R E, crowdfunding.com. Or on a real estate platform. That Aspen Racket Club in the upper right hand. That's awesome there. That oh, this building? No, if go down, keep going down up on the upper right, that deal where it says Aspen yeah. Racket Club. Yeah. Yeah, that's He's got like six acres inside the city limits of Aspen, Colorado, the last piece of land in there. And he's been approved to build like four houses and 12 townhouses, affordable housing for Aspen. You know what that is? 600 <laughs> grand. <laughs> 600, four grand. Houses, 600 grand. And then the other ones are going to, the little condos are going to be like 450. That's affordable living, affordable housing. No. Yeah. I, 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 so you can read through all that stuff and uh, let's see. One thousand percent. Isn't that crazy? So where? But so that's like five years before you, the return occurs. Okay. On that deal, the other ones are like, like uh, Davis Court right there in Breckenridge. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're gonna shift some funds into that one right there. And, does, uh, does he take out some really bank? Know. Sorry? Do they take out some bank money and then the rest equity? Yeah. yeah. Okay. These are some big numbers. That's why I ask. Yeah. Yeah. But I know some of the people that fund their deals. When they say secured interest rate, is that the interest rate they're paying to investors? Yeah. Yeah, this is great. This is it. This is what I had in my mind. We needed to fix this. Go. This is the solution. Yeah, there you go. I'm telling you. Because so. they're not ready to necessarily jump at a hundred grand the first time they get to know you. No. But you give them a, a $2,500 opportunity, people will jump. Yeah. So let's see, I think we're the one in the middle we're invested in. Yeah, see that one? I just sold that to them and uh, sold them the LLC. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So they're already raising funds for that project. <laughs> That's funny. Have they closed on it yet or not yet? Uh, I think. Tomorrow, I think is it might have been today. But uh. Anyway, there's there's like four or five of the properties they have in there. If you go down their whole list, that they got from me. So it's pretty funny. So they're wholesaling the properties and investing with them. Best of two worlds. That's great. So you'll meet Todd and Austin both. They'll be down in February. Okay. For sure. And then uh, if you need to talk to them or whatever, just let me know. I'll put you guys together instead of through the website. Just talk to Todd or Austin. Yeah. This, this is great. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig into this more now. Good. Cool. Well, just remember your old pal, Mike. Yeah. No, no. We'll, if we pull people from, from uh, Denver, then we'll, we'll link them to you. We'll leave but no, because we, we know on every lead that comes through, they get tagged with your name when they're through your funnels. So we'll know. It gets filled out on our closing worksheet. That's how we know. Like Kate sends you checks every time. I don't even. I got one yesterday. All right. Or it might have been this morning. Yeah, it came in this morning. That's right. Yeah. So how was he? Did he, John, behave himself? He was really good this time. He told Jerry he's bringing to buy some more. So. 
he didn't buy any this time, but uh, he's waiting on a refinance and it's yeah. almost done. It's like within a week away. The only challenge is he's going to Asia for a few weeks. So if he can't sign the loan docs before he leaves, then he might have to wait for three weeks to buy another one. But Could you, you know, I got to respect at least he's investing. If I was his age and had that kind of money, oh my gosh, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> All that free money. Holy cow. At least yeah. he's investing and trying to, to make it grow. I got to respect him for that. That's for sure. Yeah. And, and yeah. I, also, I think that this real estate vehicle for him, it's, it's given him a, a good distraction from being a 25 year old rambunctious young yeah. person. And he's taking real estate very seriously because he wants to prove something to the world. He does. Yeah. I think it's good. Me too. As long as he does it through. Oh, so I'm happy. He's talking about doing a flip in Denver. We'll see. I, I told him to. He asked me my opinion. I said, hands down, don't even don't even hesitate to work with people that you really know and trust. Mike and Jerry would be the first guys that I'd put my money with. So good. He's probably going to do a couple with you guys. That'll be good. That'll be fun. Yeah. I just, I'll be prepared for the itemized list and, and pictures of each drywall screw or whatever he's doing. There right now. <laughs> he, or his attorney. he wants the house wholesale to him. And then, so you can make a wholesale fee on it. And then he wants to share 10% of the profit on the backside with whoever manages the rehab. Right. So, and then, because then he can 1031 and exchange any gains he makes. Cool. I can do that. I can arrange that. No problem. I got some great crews, so we're we can do that. Looking forward to it. We'll go back and do something with in Florida with them. So we'll get to that point later, I guess. Yeah. We're just concentrating on him buying your stuff right now. So we're he's need to start paying more. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's got really good advisors, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing for him. So they just they like to get into the details. His did I tell you what his attorney Richard did? Uh -oh. He um he figured out he actually called the title company, and he wanted to know why the title commitment wasn't directly to um to John. It was from our entity to John, but not from the selling bank, which was Fannie Mae. Nice. So he fi he figured out that it was an A to B, B to C. So then he said, "I want to see the purchase contract from A to B," and then the normal answer from the title company is like, "That's private." Blah blah blah. So then he must have had his paralegal call and got it the next day acting. I don't know if he acted or what, but one way or another, he got them to send our contract with our HUD and our title commitment on the A to B. Jeez. So he's getting the A to B transaction every time and the B to C and like, he's, he's not messing around. So John called me, it kind of caught me off guard. He's like, Hey, I know that you guys are making $6,200 on this transaction. And like, kind of caught me off guard. Like, I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, that's, I, I, I answered him honestly. I said, John, at the end of the day, by the time we pay our staff for managing this rehab, it's not much money. He's like, he's like, yeah, I, I know. I know. It's, it's not that much money. My, my attorney actually said that it's not that much money. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> good. I'm glad we feel that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. If somebody did that to me, I'd be kind of, I would just tell them, Hey, no problem. You don't like it. You know, yeah. you decided that the number was good before you know. If I made 100%, it shouldn't matter to you. Yeah. The it matters, but oh well. And then I, should... <laughs> I think he just wanted to show that he knew. I think that's what it was. Because his attorney yeah. figured it out. And his he attorney, went... attorney. Yep. Yep. Like an attorney. He's not real short and an attorney, is he? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met him face to face. <laughs> uh, well, that's then... cool. And then John only wants, working with him. and then he only wants deals that are twenty percent financed cash on cash. And finding those is like one out of twenty deals, so yeah. it's it's hard. He's that's why the numbers are tight on our side. But the good news is is that after he finishes this cycle, I think he's going to start unleashing the fury. So even yeah. if they're tight deals, I'm I'm, I'm okay with it because he's going to do volume. Yeah, I'm fine. That's fine. It's all about long-term and him increasing his volume. 
He wants a thousand yeah, houses. He really wants to. And, you know, then there's the rest of the family. So. Yeah. They'll come in on this too. Yep. Maybe. So, well, cool, man. Well, too bad we didn't get to do our webinar. No, no, Paul. I'll, I'll record something for him in the morning, and then um, and then I'll I'll send it over to you, and I'll send it over out to the group, and then. But you enjoy enjoy the the show tomorrow. Oh, I will. Gosh, it's nine to six thirty or something. It's two days in a row. So. Yeah, you'll be taking so many notes though, and then they've got uh, Ryan Dice coming this time from Digital Marketer, and he's like the number one digital marketer in the world right now i don't know his his numeric stats but the guy's worth a fortune um i'm actually jealous i wanted to go just for that even though i've already been some of your guys are going to be there though um one more person named patrick is coming from chicago okay mm -hmm. you said they kind of group you in tables together with what you do or something like he that or? They try to kind of like go into a wedding where they, they pair you at tables. So he, tr they, last time when I was there, I was paired with a couple other real estate guys. So I network with the real estate guys, but then I quickly uh, went over to the financial services table because I realized that they had the investors. So <laughs> it worked, it worked. So. Good. Well, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I, didn't you say you have to go stand up and do your little story speech or something? If for a minute, everybody does, or if you want that pressure, I I think I paid like an extra three or five hundred dollars to have that pressure added, but you don't have to have that. It's up to you. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. I don't want to pay three or five hundred dollars to get tortured. So <laughs> you yeah. get you get live feedback on the spot from from the judges. That would be awesome. That might be worth it. I'll get in there and see what they got going. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's worth it if you want that that critique. You'll get a critique from people that do professional speaking every day. You know I need that critique, so. All right, uh, you want you want me to email Allison at their their administrative assistant and tell her to look for you. <laughs> find this guy. <laughs> yeah, find him and make him do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> I might chicken out in the morning, so who knows. Well, I'm sending the. I already sent the email, Mike. It's done. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, cool, man. Well, I'll keep you posted. I'll text you tomorrow when I get out and let you know how it went. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I'll look for your email for this. Deborah will probably do it tomorrow since I'll be in class or the conference. So. Okay. Yeah, nice little time. We'll be down here for three days, going back late Saturday night. So we got down here early and got to the hotel and. Just relax for a minute. Had a, two closings today, I think. I'm not sure. If, obviously, Sherwood closed. They had already bought the LLC, though. And then we had one today that I sold three lots down in South Denver. Mm. And we closed that one at 1 o'clock. So, You're going to be making money while you sleep tonight. And then I got your check today. So well, I gave half of that to Jerry. But, uh so it was a 15, 16 grand day today. Not too bad. Sweet. Not too bad. Got a couple, of, couple of more next week. So doing Beautiful. Right. Beats heck out of working. Yeah. <laughs> I think my daughter, uh, soon as she does a couple more, doesn't spend all her dang money on cars and clothes and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get her to buy one of your properties. Yeah, you you guys should fly up with if you ever have a chance. If you get some free time, come into Chicago. There's a direct from on United right from Denver to Chicago. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna. She's definitely gonna do it. So they're young. They're not old codgers like me. <laughs> Mike, you're only as old as you feel, man. You're you're still living like you're 25. Oh, I know, man. My grandchildren. I don't know if I told you the story. We went to a restaurant and he said, oh, kids eat for free. And my middle granddaughter goes, does he get it for free? And the host just goes, no, well, he's a bigger kid than we are. <laughs> uh, all right, man, we'll have a good evening. Sounds good, Mike. You so, too. Say hi to the family. All right, we'll do. Talk to all you later. Right. Bye. Bye.